if your boss is staring at you all the time and checking you out, is that sexual harassment that's prohibited by law? And the short answer is yes. If your boss is staring at you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable <clears throat> and it goes on more than perhaps one time or it's clear that it's becoming a persistent issue that's creating for you a hostile work environment that is degrading the conditions of your employment there, that's sexual harassment. Clearly it's occurring because of your gender. If you can resolve this issue by simply stating, like one of our recent clients had a boss who continually stared at her breasts while they were talking, and she said something to him like, my eyes are up here, boss, and he was apparently deeply embarrassed and became the perfect gentleman thereafter. Some men will take the hint. Sometimes it can work, and you should only apply the appropriate amount of pressure so that you can preserve your work environment if possible and keep your job and you know not create any enemies that you don't need to create. But if your boss doesn't take the hint, if it's clearly a question of abuse of power, you have to document the complaint. You have to raise the issue in writing. Even if your boss is the company, then put it in writing to him. Send it in a provable way so that you'll your company has put on notice that you believe this is discriminatory because it is discrimination under federal and state law based on sex, or in some jurisdictions it's referred to as gender. But it is discriminatory, right? Because if you weren't, for example, a woman, it could be a man, and it could be same-sex harassment, but most commonly male on female. If it weren't for the fact that you were a woman, you wouldn't be dealing with this boss who's ogling you in a lascivious manner. That is demeaning, and that is a hostile work environment. That's illegal discrimination, and your company must take care of it. And if they don't, and they treat you worse because of it, that's retaliation. So keep this in mind while you document these complaints to your company. And if you're dealing with this, or a loved one is dealing with unwelcome sexual attention at work, and you want to talk about it with us, feel free to contact us confidentially by phone or by email, and we'll consult with you with a view towards empowering you in your workplace so you don't feel so alone, and you might be able to teach your boss, who's staring all the time at you, a lesson. This is Jack Tuckner, a women's rights in the workplace lawyer with Tuckner, Sipser, Weinstock, and Sipser. Thank you.